Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Budgeting and Savings with V. I'm Vonda Sharon, and on today's episode is how to increase that borrowing limit on Cash App, I'm, right? Like that's weird saying that like Cash App used to be where you just sent money, received money from mom and dad and friends, but Cash App say no, y'all are not leaving us in the dirt, period. We own a mix. Cash App has that feature. They have Bitcoin. They have direct deposit. And I want to say, you know, they're doing something with taxes. So Cash App is trying to be the end all be all one stop shop, one and done. But that's not what we're talking about. We're trying to see how we can get Momula. Okay. How we can up the increase because we we might not need all one million to borrow but we want to know hey cash up got my back cash up say i can borrow a milli a milli a milli in my little wine boy okay but the, all right I, you you can see i had my coffee my sugar this morning i am wired up okay let's go so how to increase your limit on cash up if you see me looking this way That is because my notes are over there. That's all, guys. Okay. So, number one, how to increase that limit is by having direct deposit. Have that payroll check coming over there. And then there are parts to that. Let me get closer because I, 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 I need you to feel me. Okay. Direct deposit because you will get paid two, up to two days early. So think about it. If you were supposed to get paid Friday, what is that, Wednesday? I like the sound of getting paid during the middle of the week, okay? Because now my Wednesday going to be lit, my Thursday going to be lit, my Friday going to be lit, and my Saturday going to be lit. Sunday, I'm going to be sad, and Monday, I'm going to need a loan from Cash Up. Number two, always have some funds in your cash app, you know, and it's just there. You don't have to have a million, you know, or anything like that, $20, $25. Always have something there available. Believe it or not, in which we subconsciously know, these, these apps and people, these people behind these apps, they're always watching, you know. They're, they're always watching. So always have something in your house, okay? That's what I call it, in your little house, your little app, okay? Not little app, but in your app, okay? I don't know about you, but um, they have extended the Olive Branch to offer us their debit card. Did you get it? Because you should. I know that they offered it to a lot of people, and some people were skeptical. I've been having mine for years. I love it. And so um, let me explain to you. With the little, not little, why do I want to call everything little? With the debit card, you can, uh, the money that you have on in your cash app, you can then use that instead of cashing it out, paying a fee. And we don't want that because on budgeting and savings with B, we don't, we, we're here to save. So with that, you just use the card instead of using, um, instead of put, you know, cashing it out. So then you avoid a fee and you can use it immediately because you know when you cash out and if you do like I do, you have to wait two days for the free. But if you use the card, you get to use it immediately. So it's really easy, simple. You set up a PIN number. It usually takes them about a week, you know, to send it to your house. It's going to arrive and then um, you just activate it. And then you don't have to worry about cashing out or anything. I kind of use that account as like a set it and forget it, you know, like a little secret savings that, that, he, don't, that he don't know about, okay? So definitely get their card, okay? Make sure, not make sure, but use their card for purchases. They want to see some activity because, guys, this is an app. They're in the business of make, making money. And we don't see it, but they do make money off our transactions. How? That's above me right now. I don't know. Okay? I, I, I really don't know. But they do. They make money off of um, transactions and how much you use the debit card. So help them out so they can help us out. Okay? Like I said, have funds available on your due date. 
because you know that you are trying to increase your limit. So when you have borrowed previously, make sure that you already have money available so that when your payment is due, the money is there and you are in good standings with them, okay? Because that will definitely help and increase your chances of them extending the olive branch and increasing it because we want them to increase it fast, right? We're not here for the slow okie doke process. We don't have three to six months. Mm -mm. We need it now. Okay, now. All right. So if you can, and then if you are in the um, situation, you know, to where you can go in and manually pay them a day early or two early and pay a little bit extra. So let's say you borrow a hundo, excuse me, $100. And your payment, you know, every week is $25. So let's say, you know, you want to be in good standing and you know you want that limit increase. So instead of paying $25 on the 12th, you go in and manually pay $30 on the 11th, okay? They love that. Even with credit cards, they love it okay they want to see that you can do things on your own and you can pay back more because when you pay back more then that's less they get okay and we we don't, we don't really want them to get too much from us okay i know we're in a hard situation but but we we ain't trying to get them all our money back okay we want to keep it so again go in and manually pay it out not pay it off but pay your payment early a day early and pay five extra okay all right and this is the uh, main one, okay? This is the main one. Pay it off quickly. Let's say you borrow 100 and you uh, really want them to, to up, up your limit. Let's say you borrow it on a Monday, okay? And then you come into some extra money, okay? So you can pay it off on that Thursday. Pay it all off, okay? And then once you pay it all off, then uh, you got to wait and give it time to process, okay? Because it's not that immediate. Wait and give it time to process. So like, let's say you pay it off on a Thursday. I will come back like that Wednesday and you will see that your limit has increased because you pay it off early and they, they see, hey, Monet or Jim can handle, you know, their responsibilities so then you know whatever number you're trying to get to because again the ranges are uh, $20 to 450 right now while they're still testing everything they started this process back in June of 2022 so it's still in the testing processes but you know uh, start with your limit like I said follow those steps but if you happen to get some extra money and you know you want to get your limit up, then you can pay it off quickly and then reborrow and follow those same steps. Either pay it off a few, do few dollars early and a day early, or I mean pay a few, few dollars more and pay it off a day early, or pay it out off soon. And then just keep repeating that and then your limit will study increase. Now the thing is, Try not to get in over your head. You know, you may be thinking one thing and then, you know, life happens, but you don't want to find yourself in a lot of debt, okay? So, be smart, be safe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Subscribe.